Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I got another tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. Now, this is a tutorial on how to fix a certain issue that has to do with mono audio. And what happens a lot of times when you bring mono audio into Resolve, well, only one side plays, especially if you drop it over on a, a stereo you know, track. However, that's normally easily fixed, but that fix normally causes other problems. And I'm gonna show you how to fix this and actually uh, set this up as dual mono, which works better. But before we get started, check out On One Photo Raw. On One Photo Raw gives you control of your photography and what matters to you. On One gives you an open system for complete control over your storage, organization, editing, and method of purchase. On One will also never be a subscription only model. Learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody. So I have DaVinci Resolve already opened up and I'm actually in Fairlight right now. Now, if we go over here to the main track editor and you can see my tracks and stuff, let me mute one of them and we hit play. This is the mono demo track. I am recording for my DaVinci Resolve 16. As you can see, it plays on one side. And of course, go back over to Fairlight and as you can see, it is only on one side. There's only one tr uh, track playing on that stereo bus, you know, track, not stereo bus. This is a demo track. Okay. Compared to the background music down here right below it, which is grayed out because I have it muted. If I unmute it, you can see there's two tracks on that one. And if I play that one. Okay. So you can hear that in this stereo. All right. Let me mute that one right quick. Go back up here. Now, you're probably thinking the easiest way is to convert this to a mono track. And if you're not doing anything serious, that'll work. 16 tutorial. This is a demo track. Okay. Let me right click that. We can go to change uh, track type to mono. And if we play ABC123. Great. Now we hear it out of left and right both sides. However, this causes issues within DaVinci Resolve itself. Now, ironically, uh, if you do any kind of ducking and stuff and you leave it on stereo, even though only one track in there, both sides of the compression will actually wor uh, work. See, I got the compressor set up here. And let me play, unmute the music track and hit play. I am speaking into the Samson Seal 8. Hey. Okay. One side is getting uh, perfectly fine. It's getting played normal. One side's getting ducked. Like I said, if you convert it back over to stereo, even though there's only one track and you can only hear it on one side of your, uh, your speakers or headset, for some reason, other it actually ducks both tracks correctly. However, it doesn't when you set it to mono. So how do you fix this? Pretty easy. Okay. So let me play this one more time so you can watch the graph under where it says background music. Microphone. In demo. When I get grayed out. This is the mono demo track. I am recording. The lower one here is getting compressed. 16 tutorial. The other side this isn't is getting compressed. Track. A, B, C, one, two. Okay. So let me show you how to fix that right quick. Okay. So let's go right click over here and just put this back to stereo. All right. That seems, you know, counterintuitive, but trust me on this. Now we can go to, go to see clip attributes, click on that. And we have mono here. All right. Now you have mono, stereo, and if you hit stereo, boom, what happens? You get channel and track left, right? And you see one of them is muted. If we go to embed in channel one, hit okay. Bam, now we have dual mono. So let me play this for you. Three. I am speaking into the Samson Seal 8 a microphone. And as you notice now, in demo track. This is the mono. The background demo track. music track is getting ducked correctly now. Okay, you're probably thinking, Joe, that's pretty cool, but why can't I just leave it on mono if I'm not using anything else? Well, let me show you some a problem I found in Ozone, matter of fact. So I'm gonna convert this back over to mono right quick. Just so I can show you this. And let me pop in one of my you know effects here. Go to VST, Ozone Elements. Let me bring that up. Let 
Okay, let me turn off the maximizer and equalizer. And let's just focus on the imaging here. All right. I want to sterilize this and kind of boost this up. So when I go to play here, my DaVinci Resolve 16 tutorial. There's a problem here. The demo track. Notice the little polar uh, sample here at the bottom of the vector scope. I am speaking into the Samson CL8. Let me mute the background music. Like I said, notice the uh, polar uh, the uh, vector scope here is only have one line. If it was working correctly and creating a stereo image over the mono signal, that would be spread out. The only way it will work correctly if it's on a stereo track. So that's what one reason we had to have the dual mono. Let me go convert this track type and close this out. Convert this track type back over to stereo, which is our dual mono. Okay. And let's go back into ozone again. Pull up an imager and let's play this again. One, two, three. Okay, let me sterilize. To the Samson CL eight A microphone. In as demo see, track. As you can see now, it is now being sterilized. I'm recording for my DaVinci Resolve 16 tutorial. All right. Before, no matter how much you spread it uh, open, you know, with width, you know, going to this one uh, side here that's canceling out, making it uh, non spread. This is full uh, stereo spread. There would have been no way to get that spread out. So you have to have ozone nine elements to use imaging on a stereo track. So yeah, going in the clip ap attributes and pull up this again, show you one more time before we go and changing that to stereo and putting embedded channel one and two, both left and right will fix a lot of issues you may have with a lot of other plugins and stuff as well. So anyway, uh, hope this helps everybody. Kind of a little quick tutorial on how to set up dual monos uh, out of a regular mono signal. And hopefully this fish, uh, fixes a lot of other issues you may run into with when working in Resolve. So anyway, if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. It lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.